terrible breakups, constant abuse and bullying from bigger stars, and being dragged into scandals that could have ruined her, Taylor Swift has seen it all. From the little 16-year-old who had no idea what she was getting herself into, to now at 33, Taylor is winning. And despite all the nasty things her haters say and everything she's been through, she is still winning. And it looks like she's not stopping anytime soon, either. But how did she get here? What is the secret behind her success? And what did she have to go through to become who she is today? Because we were intrinsically insecure. Because we liked the sound of people clapping because it made us forget about how much we feel like we're not good enough. In today's video, we will take you on a journey through Taylor Swift's music career and the secret behind her success. So I'm feeling like, I'm feeling very overwhelmed by the fans' um, love for the record. I'm also feeling like very soft and fragile. <laughs> Conquering the music world. Ever since Tim McGraw, her debut single, was released, Taylor has become a household name thanks to her incredible singing, songwriting, and live performances. With her reputation to her, she took the world and began her journey to success. The tour was such a hit that with her 53 performances, she made $345 million in just three days with her incredible performance. Taylor's stage presence and ability to resonate with her audience made her stand out from the rest and prove that she was one of the best performers of all time. Anyone who's been to her concerts can attest to this. Taylor was just too good, and she had a way of moving the crowd and making them connect with her and her emotions, which ended up earning her millions of loyal fans. But that wasn't the first time her stats went viral. She's done it before. You see, Reputation made over $1.2 million in its first week, and the craziest part is that it became the top album of the year, making it her fourth album to do so. On the other hand, fans weren't really shocked because four years earlier, her album Red had sold roughly 1.2 million copies in the first week. And here she is, 10 years later, still crushing the charts. In the first three days after its release in 2022, her album Midnight sold 1.2 million copies. Number two is which song is closest to your heart? Um, this is kind of an album where every song on it is really, really, really close to my heart. 1.1 million of which were physical copies. Not long after, the album made its way to the top 10 lists of the top 100 Billboard hits, a position it still holds in the hearts of fans and critics everywhere. But before she could get to this level of stardom, Taylor knew she had to step out of the box and shine in her own way, which she did in such a genius way. Part of it that I don't quite understand how it comes to fruition. There's something so mysterious about writing, but I've found that the more, uh, the more I write, the more I keep writing. Midnight Mayhem You'd think that a big advertising firm would have been in charge of promoting an album as popular as Midnight. However, the pop diva's hugely successful album was nearly totally promoted by the star herself. And she did it in such a unique way that surprisingly ended up being the most enjoyable and engaging for her fans. You see, before the album was released, Taylor had a short, interactive event on TikTok where she disclosed a track list by using ping pong balls in a bingo game. Yes, you heard that right, she promoted her album using bingo. Who would have thought? The event was not only entertaining, but also needed some work from viewers, who tuned in from all around to listen to their favorite pop singer chat about the songs on her latest album. This theme of Taylor hanging out with her fans was not new to her. Now, I'm sure you already know this, but the secret to her success is her fans. And you have fans everywhere, all over the place, uh, and you have one, well, you have many right here in our audience. But... In fact, she's become such a massive cultural phenomenon because of the genuine love and affection she has for her fans and her ability to resonate with them and impact their lives through her music. And this definitely is one of the reasons she's winning so much. Her fan base is real and have connected with her on such a deep level. Taylor herself has gone out of her way for her fans multiple times. Posted videos on TikTok of me with a vintage bingo cage, like with a handle. <laughs> and would I just uh, announce track, you know, one yeah. at a time. And Caring for her fans. To connect with her most devoted fans, she launched the Secret Sessions in 2014. Taylor would not only invite a select group of her most loyal fans to her house for this event, but she would also play songs from her future albums for the guests, seek their opinions on the songs, and generally have a good time with them. This way she interacted with her followers is proof that despite her fame, she is really just everyone's favorite older sister. Despite her enormous popularity and record sales, Taylor is known to truly care about her followers. And just as we mentioned earlier, she has a way of emotionally connecting with them, making it difficult for anybody to dislike her. It's no secret that she would occasionally send encouraging words to her Instagram followers. And even with all that, her comment on the post of a fan named Hannah, who had written about her own experiences with bullying at school, just took her kindness to a whole new level. 
Taylor wrote back to the post with a long, encouraging note to the girl as she started her freshman year of high school. In the comment, she talked about how seeing her wide-eyed, happy fan go through so much broke her heart because of how harsh and unfair the world is. She also confessed that she had been bullied before and could relate with her pain. It's little things like this that push her further in her career. But it wasn't always smooth sailing. It just feels like it's more than music now at this point. It just gets loud sometimes. Anyway, Taylor's love didn't end there. She also used to spontaneously visit her fans and spend time with them, like when she showed up to a fan's bridal shower because she missed the wedding. Oh, but there's more. So, way back in 2015, before the 1989 album show in Manchester, Taylor had met Stephanie's mom, who wanted her to help make her daughter happy by making the concert extra special for her. When Taylor heard this, she surprised everyone by buying a house for Stephanie, saying that she wanted Stephanie to focus on raising her daughter without any worries. The fact that Taylor kept this a secret until Steph told the world about it in 2017 may be the most shocking part of it all. Taylor's dedication to her followers is so deep that she even makes time to meet and play with her young fans, treating them like she would her own. As a matter of fact, she frequently planned surprise trips to children's hospitals so that she could spend quality time with them. In 2015, Taylor granted the wish of a terminally ill five-year-old girl named Ava Herdfield, who had been diagnosed with an aggressive brain tumor and had just been taking off chemotherapy. We know this meant a great deal to her because she spent all day before her big night with Taylor, wrapping presents, including a pair of earrings that she had bought for Swift. This wouldn't be the only time she'd help the child's family. In 2018, she gave $10,000 to a family so they could give their autistic son a service dog. Also, in 2011, she released a single titled Ronin, in memory of a young kid named Ronan who passed away from neuroblastoma at age 3. The singer learned about him after reading the blog his mother had started after his diagnosis earlier that year. Inspired by the account, Taylor composed a song about it and listed his mother Maya as a co-writer, giving her a cut of the royalties. Okay, Taylor, you've got me bawling over here. Then again in 2019, she gave another $10,000 to Trinity Foster, then 16 years old, to help her pay for medical bills after she was diagnosed with osteosarcoma that had spread to her lung. And I knew that, but I was like, I want to make a video that is just for the fans who like certain things like glitter and Easter eggs. Charity work. Taylor is not just kind to her fans individually, she's also a strong supporter of her local community, often volunteering her time to help in times of need. In 2011, the artist contributed $70,000 to her hometown library in Pennsylvania to help them restock much-needed books. In 2015, when she had recently relocated to New York, she donated $50,000 to the city's public schools to help them. Taylor is also well-known for her charitable work outside of education. For example, after Hurricane Harvey devastated the state, she donated to the Houston Food Bank in honor of her mother and Riska Hargitay's Joyful Hearts Foundation, which assists SA victims. In 2020, she donated a million dollars to Nashville, Tennessee when a tornado ravaged the area and killed 24 people. Besides that, when Keisha was still a TikTok singer and wanted to make records without the help of producer Dr. Luke, Taylor gave her $250,000 to set her up. Taylor's generous heart and caring soul have made her who she is today. Even when faced with adversity, her love shone through. Her investment in her fans has directly translated into the millions of views and dollars her songs make. It's actually quite simple, a fan commented. She has an immense love for music and connects it with her real life. That's the reason I love Taylor Swift. But what do you think? Are you a Swifty too?